Our next question will come from Chris Wessel for Mr. Stabens. Chris. Mr. Stabens, um, you campaign on the issue that you've cut the mill levy by 25 percent during your term in office. How do you justify to the voters the doubling of the budget over the same period of time when the population has only grown by less than 20 percent? The general fund has definitely grown during that, that time, and it is due to the increase in assessments uh, from the recent land boom that we went through. Uh, the county is uh, blessed today with two new libraries since that time. Uh, we have a beautiful new park in Bayport. Um, but obviously, in, the, in these times of, uh, of reduced assessments, we are cutting back and uh, we listen strongly to Amendment 1 and we're going to be, we've cut millions of dollars out of the budget and we're going to continue to do that in the year to come. Okay. Thank you. Uh, as a follow-up, um, you've uh, suggested an economic stimulus plan that would, uh, has about $1.8 million to renovate uh, $30,000 homes. How, how do you how do you think 1.8 million dollars will stimulate the building economy in Hernando County? Well, unfortunately, we were presented with a with a bad option last week. We were presented with an option to um, greatly reduce our capital improvement fund by over three million dollars uh, if we had gone along with what the legislature uh, presented, and that would have uh, hurt every taxpayer in the county. So what I did was try to come up with something that could benefit those who are truly hurting in the real estate industry. And, uh, and that is what I call the HELP program. And while it certainly isn't going to solve the, cri the crisis that exists today, it will help put people to work. We've had three or four builders already sign up for the program, I'm happy to say. And um, uh, it's been advertised, and it, it's a start. But um, the problem was we, we just could not take the hit uh, to our infrastructure that the, the, the program that was presented with us would have, would have caused. So I couldn't support it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Zeidenbos, your question will come from Mike Conrad. Mr. Zeidenbos, you have said you believe that the county's general fund budget of about $120 million can be brought down to about $80 million, while at the same time you propose further reductions in the property tax rate and additional homestead exemptions. Can you give voters some specific examples of budget and program cuts you would propose to reduce the budget by $40 million? Yeah, first of all, thanks for the question, Mike. I appreciate it. Is that our jail system is just terribly out of hand. Uh, we spend about uh, $58 a day for our jails, and it's uh, running us uh, uh, very much into the red. We could put those people into work worthwhile programs of raising cattle and food, not only to feed themselves and make that uh, particular part of our budget re revenue neutral, but also to feed the many thousands of people who are going hungry every day in our own county. Uh, Forty million dollars. I heard one program. Do you have? Is there more that you could uh, yeah, expand well, on, please? I would. Uh, I would just look at it uh, this way: is that uh, back in 2004, we were really rocking and rolling in Hernando County. Everybody was making money, and the hammers were swinging. And our fragile based economy is on construction and resales of homes. Uh, we do have a little bit of mining going on, but uh, over the past four years, our incumbent uh, blew it because he did not look toward economic diversity and everybody thought the ride would be going on forever. That was the unintended consequence of where we, why we rank uh, first in foreclosures, bankruptcies, food stamps, uh, and unemployment in Hernando County. We need to look back at every single line item and every single department head, and he's got to be held accountable. And we need to trim those departments from a level of 24, 25, uh, down to 12, and maybe even 6. And that's how we're going to get down to that budget. First of all, making the jail revenue neutral, and then cutting uh, the fat out of our budget and equating it back to 2004 levels, where our prices on homes are rolling back to 2001 levels. We need to do that, and we need to do it now. Thank you very much. That concludes the County Commission District 1 race. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.